I just wanted to join you guys with worship today and lead you guys in a couple of songs. Um, the first one is called Broken Vessels. Today you're going to be learning about how we've been reconciled to Christ, how he's brought us back to him. And that's been on my heart a lot lately, just that, that word reconcile, um, to bring back. And uh, especially now during everything that's going on, I think that's something we need to be reminded of is that no matter how far gone humanity can get, God is powerful enough and uh, mighty enough to always bring us back to him. Um, and he's given us a higher calling. He's given us um, the freedom to call out to him. So I'm going to lead you guys in this song called Broken Vessels by Hillsong. And um, if you know the words, feel free to sing along with me. Um,
bagging up oranges. Yep. And we had to throw away the moldy ones. Yep. Nice. You get new gloves, yep. which are huge. <laughs> um, so we're finding work to do. Uh, what are y'all? What are y'all doing? We are bagging dog, dog food. Dog food. Dog food. For dogs. Nice. These dogs are amazing. Welcome uh, to the cool zone. We are sorting glue to put in a fridge. Nice. Right now we're we got some tomatoes, some limes. I can't tell if this one's gone bad. It's got a kind of bad spot right there. Right on, man. Cool. This one's Just quite open. To check in with you guys. We were smart. We got the cool job where it's air conditioned and everything yeah. else. There you go. Awesome. See you guys. What's up, Kaylee? What are you doing? I'm boxing food. Boxing food. <laughs> hey, what's up, NL students? What's up? We're uh, Jason and I are picking up some Chick Fil A for our City Reach Garland. We are at Five Lows Food Pantry in Saxe. Um, Jason knew the lady there and he was able to uh, hook us up with the opportunity to serve at Five Loaves. So hopefully we'll be able to do this a lot more in the future with our youth ministry. So yes. be ready for that. So our theme verse, our, our scripture this week that we're going to focus on is in Colossians chapter 2. Um, and I'm going to have Jason read a portion of that. Um, uh, one thing that we did that we've done as we've each week we have explained a new way to read scripture so when you read the bible there is there is a certain way that i when i read it i can i can study it so we talked about asking ourselves four questions you know what does the bible say about god what does this text say about uh, about humans what does this text say about what god is doing and what does this text say that humans should do or are doing and then last week we talked about soap and today you just saw a couple of uh, videos of some students serving at Five Loaves. And so today Jason is going to read us the script, uh, a part of the scripture from Colossians. And here is another method, which is highlight, exp uh, explain, apply, respond. And so I'm going to have Jason read the highlighted portion of the text today uh, out of Colossians. So Jason, take it away. All right. So Colossians... 2 verses 6 and 7 alive in Christ therefore as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord so walk in him rooted and built up in him and established in the faith just as you were taught abounding in thanksgiving awesome yeah well speaking of abounding in thanksgiving I think our orders here yes <laughs> Yes, yes, that's it. Thank you so much. We actually don't have plates. We're out of plates. That's fine. That's okay. all right. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, do, it, is it, do it, can we get any Chick fil A sauce or anything? Any other sauces? Um, barbecue? Is there a honey barbecue or a different barbecue? We have honey and the regular barbecue. Both, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Awesome. Sorry. So, anyway, yeah. that was the scripture. So. Yeah, um, one thing, Jason, that stuck out to me when it comes to like explaining is that in the way that you have received Jesus to walk in, walk mm -hmm. in that. And when I think of yeah. when we accept Christ, it's not just a one-time decision that we make, but it's a posture of repentance, recognizing where I was and where Christ brings me. So every day I, I, am, I am responding in that same way, not just... Oh, I accepted, my testimony ends when I accepted Christ when I was in seventh grade. I knew I needed a savior and I walked the aisle and got baptized and that's my testimony. But that every yeah. day, is it, just as I received Christ, walk in that. Mm -hmm. So every day I'm living my life in that same way and in that same manner. And that's describing the discipleship process and what Jesus took the disciples through and talks about in his word and being built up. So we're being built up day by day through God's word, following after Jesus. And we're yeah. taught abounding. That means keep going, persevering. And that's why it's so important, you guys, that, that we're not able to see each other, that we watch up, we, we watch these YouTube videos, we, we, um, we 
do the Bible app with each other, that we're keeping in communication with each other. Because if we're not around teaching, then there's a good, and we're not educating ourselves, if we're not studying the Word of God, if we're not hearing it taught, we have to ask ourselves, are we being built up? Are, are, we, be, are we growing in our sanctification? Are we learning more about God? Learning more about others? Growing in our love for Him? If the, if the teaching is not happening, then we have to ask ourselves, is, there, is building up happening? Thank you so much. You too. Alrighty. Yes. Yes. So anyway, um, we just wanted to record that real quick on our run. We had some time. And so we're going to just bring you into what the day looks like for us. Yeah. And I say this for Colossians. I hope you're reading and it's a short chapter and just even reread it. Um, a lot of the words there, there's a lot. We, we, unpack some of those words just in these two verses but reread that look at those words uh think about those words um i'm enjoying colossians uh hope you are too and yeah text people like sometimes you have to do it on your own right now um or you're, you're starting it up but you can text people um and through um social media or anything you can connect with us you can connect with your friends but you kind of have to do the startup reading on your own and that's always true even when you're going to church every wednesday or every sunday and not so much now but yeah yeah yeah, you're you're you are in charge, guys, of your when it comes to your spiritual life. That you know, you, your parents can't make you do something. We can't make you do something. You have to take up the Bible on your own and begin to read it and feed yourself sometimes. And in this season, that's that's what's required. And so, yes. hopefully, these can help you. Um, I, and comment below if you, if you've read something in Colossians lately that God has really used in your life. Uh, maybe comment below in a way that God has worked in your life or whatever. Um, we want to know those things. We want to celebrate those victories with you in Christ. And so uh, we miss you. We can't wait to see you again. Yeah. Um, keep looking on social media. Keep watching Instagram stuff. Um, keep watching Jason's Jason's Insta, uh, Instagram and, and Facebook and things. He posts a lot of good stuff. Just let, let's stay encouraged. Let's abide in Christ. And I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Love you guys. See ya. See ya.